back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know it's your boy Love One and Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this shit. Oscar De La Hoya feel like this man is tripping for not taking a tune-up before the Javante Davis fight. And he might just have a point here. But before I talk my shit about that, I'm going to read you guys some words from Oscar De La Hoya himself. Then I'm going to come back and talk my shit. Let's just start off with this one. De La Hoya on Garcia foregoing tune-up ahead of tank fight. I strongly feel it's a big mistake. But then again, he gets a little more deep. And he says, I strongly feel it's a big mistake. But what we all have to do is wish him the very best and tell him to stay in shape. Stay in the gym, continue training, sparring, stay focused, and wait for the big day. That's the words from your boy Oscar De La Hoya, y'all. Now, let me talk my shit. Now, if you ask me, it can be a big deal. But then again, it don't have to be a big deal. Let me explain why. I personally feel like he should have took a tune-up. And a decent tune-up. A tune-up that you would at least get up for. Not the last clown you was going to face. Now, if you take somebody like a George Kambosas, Jojo Diaz, still a good, tough fight that you could possibly lose if you're not on your A game. You know what I'm saying? But the reason this could be a huge problem, you guys, is because Ryan Garcia can overtrain for this fight. A lot of people don't get this deep. They don't even know about this shit. You can overtrain for a fight. That's why it's always good to have a fight every three to four months. Mandatory. Yes, you can spar, but it's not like a real fight because you're not going to train like you would for an actual fight like you do for a sparring. So I see what Oscar De La Hoya is saying. And Oscar De La Hoya is an ex-fighter himself. So he knows what he's talking about. Especially in these situations when it comes down to training for a fight. You know what I'm saying? So if Ryan Garcia, I'm quite sure he's with Joe Goosen. He's doing everything right. You probably have a good strength and conditioning coach, etc. But if Ryan Garcia is trying to do too much, it's going to be really a nightmare for him. Really think about it, y'all. Ryan Garcia's last fight was like, what, two months ago? Three months ago? Maybe even four months ago. I can't remember. But by the time you get in the ring with Tank, you're going in the fight against this monster coming off shit. Basically a year of inactivity. You guys don't take these type of things into consideration, though. But that's why you got to question yourself. Ryan Garcia is just way too confident. You think you could beat Tank, and it's going to be easy talking about knocking him out in two rounds and all this shit, and you ain't been in the ring in a year prior to the time you fight him. You might want to consider or reconsider, I should say, and take a tune-up before you fight Tank. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.